Welcome back to all of you for this special on the road edition of Great Day St. Louis in historic Missouri wine country. And if you ever drive down, down Highway 94, first off, it's beautiful. Secondly, you cannot miss Defiance Ridge Vineyards. In fact, I can basically see it from where I'm standing and I am joined by the owner of it, Chuck Gillentine. Good morning to you. you. I'm very well because there's wine in front of me, there's food over there. I'm basically in heaven. It's food's fantastic. Great presentation by Ted and Trent, our chefs, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll tell you a little bit about it in a minute, but uh, we do a lot of things in-house. Uh, we're making our own wines uh, in-house now after our first year, and things are going well. Before we get to the food and wine, you guys have really turned into a huge wedding venue, too. We're doing quite a bit of weddings, uh, and we're building the business. It's a, it's a great venue to do it. It's big. It's mm -hmm. uh, probably the largest venue out here for, for weddings. And it's a beautiful venue. It is. Do yourself a favor and check it out. Okay, let's talk wine, or let's talk food. Okay. Who's the food guy? Trent's going to tell you about okay. it. Okay, I'm going to move over so we can hear Trent. Okay, this is the best charcuterie board I've ever seen. Oh, thank you, thank you. So here we have like a, a variety of local meats and cheeses. We have some of our Borson cheese, some of our cheese. We got aged provolone, uh, Kickapoo cheese, uh, and then we have some chorizo salami. We have brazola. We have copa. We have pickled veggies that we do in house. Mm -hmm. We have our beer mustard we do in house as well. Ooh, beer uh, mustard. Yeah, absolutely. And then we have our mixed berry jam we do in house nice. as well. And then um, some olives and then some crostinis we do. And I'm guessing for a weekend, whenever someone does go out to Deviance Ridge Vineyards, they can order one of these with a bottle or several bottles of wine. Absolutely. Yeah, that is, I would say our farmer's board, which kind of has uh, all these different elements on it is one of our best-selling items at the, at the vineyard. So. I can see why. Let's talk about the wine then. We'll bring you in. Oh, and you too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what do it's we okay. need to know Tim about? Tim knows about wine too. Perfect. I think. <laughs> like to He's been around for a couple weeks. He's mm -hmm. doing a great job. Great Good. chef, great presentation of food. Uh, Trent, wonderful job you did, bud. Thank but you. the wines, you know, we're making, we started making wines last year. Our Vigno is, it was our first production. Mm -hmm. It's probably our, our hottest wine. We're selling a lot of it. It's, 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 it's crisp. It's kind of reminds you of a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, that's my favorite. Uh, great. Uh, you know, this this whole ridge of the Missouri River mm -hmm. develops fantastic grapes and wines. And uh, it's they're, they're, they're good tasting things. So yeah. we love it just beautiful and then what other wines are we, over you know, here we, we also uh sell west coast wines we mm -hmm. contract with some fantastic winemakers from the west coast mm -hmm. we bring in things that uh you know people like to drink this is a fantastic rosé it's, it's a pinot rosé from oregon nice it's, it's wonderful it's crisp mm -hmm. acidic just uh, great flavors and then when are you guys open we are open daily 11 to 5. Yeah. you know we uh we're it's a great spot for lunch just mm -hmm. off the trail a uh, trail is you know local for everybody but it's, it's it's a wonderful place it's just gorgeous i had the opportunity to go out there last year and i think i'll be there you said you open at 11 11 yeah, i think i'll be out there in about 80 minutes or so yeah. kent you think you could join me for a glass of vino i'm 